Google you play music settings tutorial. I'm going to show you what every settings mean. I'm not going to go through all of them, only the important ones. Uh, every version might be a little different, but the idea here is so you can understand what it means and if it changed the place or it changed the name a little, uh, you still understand the idea so you can find it yourself. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is refresh. Uh, the refresh does is that will sometimes if you change uh, something or you updated your payment method, something doesn't work, refresh will refresh the, your library. So if something doesn't work, refresh is the solution for that. Uh, the next option is improve your recommendations. As you know, Google recommended mu music based on stuff you already, uh, songs you already listen to and all, all kinds of that. Uh, if you want to improve that recommendations, you should go to here and just choose the genre you like. And you can also choose uh, which kind of uh, bands or artists you like, and he will give you better recommendation based on that. Uh, the next option is manage your devices. You can have multiple devices using the same account. You can deactivate some of your devices. Let's say you lost the device, you don't want to use that anymore. Uh, you can deactivate it through here. Next option is sleep timer. Sleep timer lets you to turn off the player, the music, whatever you, you're doing with the player after a specific amount of time. Uh, the annoying thing is that they don't let you to do, uh, let's say, as uh, some other players do within 30 minutes or within an hour, you need to choose the time uh, during the day that you want to turn it off. Not really comfortable, but still somewhat useful. Except in stream on Wi-Fi only. Uh, this option will only play music if you're on a Wi-Fi network. It will not play if you're on your data network. Uh, this is if you really want to, if you have really strict data uh, uh, plan, so you don't want to use it. So that will not work if you're on your data, data network. The next option is quality on mobile network. If you're on a mobile network, what quality should it use? I do normal, you can do low if you want to use less uh, data. You can also do high and always high. The next option is quality on Wi-Fi network. I, the default is high. Um, you should you should leave it high if, unless if you wanna if you have a slow Wi-Fi network, you can take it like a normal or low. Uh, this if it's on the lower, the quality, the faster the loading. That's the that's the rule. Next option is cache music while streaming. You should leave this option on. This is only, this will save the songs you listen to unless you have a small storage on your device. So you should leave this. Uh, you should turn this off. This option off. That's will that will. Uh, not cache the music on your device. It is good if you're re-listening to some of the songs so you won't use uh, data network, let's say. But I'm leaving it on. Allow ex the next option is allow external devices to start playback. Uh, this is for stuff like your Bluetooth headset. Um, if you turn this option on, your Bluetooth headset, headsets or even um, just in headsets will have no control on your playback. When you're, you, you cannot pause or raise volume. If you turn this off, I leave it on. Next option is download only on Wi-Fi. If you if you turn this off, it will also use uh, it will also download music on your mobile network on your on your data plan. I uh, really recommend turn this on so it won't use your uh, your data plan. Um, as you know, you can download stuff. You can download music on your phone if you if you have a monthly subscription. And I always turn this option on so you won't use my data plan. That's uh, that can be a lot of uh, a lot of data. Uh, download quality. It's the same quality that we had before. You can choose what quality it will download: low, high, and normal. The default again is normal. Auto download. Uh, you can you should leave this option on. This will download or re-download music automatically, so you don't need to do it yourself. It's really it's really important. You have clear cache. Uh, these options will clear the cache if you have, uh, again, low storage device um, and you see you don't have enough enough space, you can clear the cache through here. And the next option is manage downloads. That's a pretty useful feature. You can see all the downloads, everything you downloaded th on your phone. So you can um, delete those or just see everything you, you download. Sometimes in this app, it can be a little, you have like some misinformation, what you downloaded, what you didn't download. It. Here you can see everything you downloaded that's that's all for today uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribe if you want to see more of those videos thank you